everyone and welcome back to Underwater Planet. So if you're new here, my name is Taylor and I am a scuba diver. So I film videos of scuba diving and how to care for your gear and how to set it up, etc. So today we're going to be learning how to set up our main dive gear before going for a scuba dive. So let's get started with the video. First off, we're going to be checking our tank. So on our tank, we have this stamp and it will usually be painted a brightly colored color. So on the stamp, we have a few numbers. So we've got 12, 28, 20. So the 12 is the month that it was tested. So December, 2020. So you have to get your tanks hydraulically tested once a year. And when they get tested or serviced or whatever you want to call it, they will put a new stamp on your tank. Next, you have to check your O-ring. So to check your O-ring, you just have a visual look at it and make sure that there's no cracks or slits in it, etc. So this is fine. You just got to also make sure that there's no sea salt or dust or anything in it. And if there is, just give it a oral blowout with your mouth. If your o-ring does need replacing then you can go to your local dive shop and buy a kit and you can get some on keychains and others that are just like a handheld kit to go in your pocket or something like that but you can go to your local dive shop and get a kit so the kit includes o-rings to change your tank o-rings and a little tool so it's easier to get the o-ring out of the valve now that we've checked our tank, we need to check our BCD before we start setting up. So this is how you need to check it. So to prepare your BCD, you just have to do a visual tech check. So this is just making sure that there's no rips or tears or anything like that in your BCD. And then check your pull dumps to make sure that you can still use them. So just give them a quick pull. Um, press your buttons on your inflator hose. So to inflate, deflate, and then if you want to go that extra mile, you can also just do a quick oral flight. Just make sure that all your zips zip up and unzip so that you don't lose anything from your zips and you can use them if you have to get something out of your pockets. Now that you have checked your BCD and your tank and they are all good to go, you can now strap your tank onto your BCD. Make sure the O-ring valve faces your head when you have your BCD on. So now you've just got to strap your tank in with both the big strap and the safety strap. Make sure that this strap is as tight as you can get it and that your tank is straight facing that way. Now that you've got your tank good to go, you have to take your dust cap off of your regulators so just unscrew this and just pop that aside so now you just want to make sure that this valve here is clean and free of dust and salt if there's any dust or salt in it just give it a quick blowout so now that you've done that you have to Check your hoses for your regs and make sure that there's no cracks or slits in them, etc. And make sure that all these rubber fittings are over the end of the hoses. So you've got two, one on each side. And then make sure that your quick release hose, the low pressure hose, is fully functioning. Now that you've checked your regulators, you have to do this quick check. For this quick check, you just need to put your regs over your shoulders so that your regulators are on your right side and your low pressure and SPG hoses are on your left side. You can connect your regulators to your tank. This part of the valve near my thumb, so make sure that it goes where the o-ring is you just want to screw this screw up so that your regulators are securely onto your tank now you need to connect your low pressure hose onto your bcd where your inflator hose has this attachment right here 
So your low pressure hose, it, if you just pull that back, put it onto here, let go of it, you should hear a click and then just pull at it a few times to make sure that it won't come off. Buy these magnets from Adreno that you put onto your Opto hose and then you just connect the other side to your BCD and then that magnet just keeps it in that place so that it's always by your side and it's easy to find in an emergency link in the description below once you have connected everything just double check everything to make sure that it's right and then once you have done that you can turn your tank on Once you have turned your air tank on, you just want to smell the air out of your regulator. So to do that, just hold down the purge button and smell it. And if it smells fine, then it's perfectly fine. But if it doesn't smell good to you, there could be carbon monoxide in it, which can cause carbon monoxide poisoning, which is really not good for you. <laughs> Once you have smelt the air, you just want to start breathing in through your regulator while looking at your SPG. So if the needle on your SPG drops down and then comes back up, you haven't turned your tank on fully. So just double check and make sure that it's correct. But if it stays in the one spot, then it's perfectly fine. So while you are doing that test, you just want to breathe normally through your regulator as if you were scuba diving. Now you just want to use your inflator hose and inflate your BCD just to check sure that everything's working. Before you start your dive, you want to go through the ABCDE's check. So the ABCDE's check is A is for A. So you have to make sure your tank is turned on so you can breathe your air. B, buoyancy. So for buoyancy, you have to make sure your BCD is filled with air so that you can float on the surface and be neutrally buoyant in the water. Computer, make sure your computer is turned on and in dive mode, your dive gear is D. So make sure you have your gear on from head to toe so your mask fins um, etc entry so how are you going to enter in the water once you know how you want to enter just go into the water with your buddy make sure you stay safe scuba diving at all times stay with your buddy and when you do your dive course if you haven't already then you will learn what to do if you do ever lose your buddy but i hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out so if you want to see more videos like this comment down below hit the like button and subscribe share the video and um if you have any video ideas for me then leave a comment down below or if you just enjoyed the video also you can leave a comment so in the next fortnight or so, we should be able to film an actual dive video and post it. But we haven't been able to film a dive video this week because we are currently in lockdown because of coronavirus in Brisbane. So I will be posting another video soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.